I got three ways you could tell if you got somebody triggered. Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Right, and real quick, I just want to go over these three ways to tell if you got somebody triggered. Now these are the three that I came up with, so feel free to leave more ways down in the comment section if you got some other ways as well, because I know that ain't all. But these are the main three that you can recognize easily if you just pay attention. Every day, we should be learning something new. And not so much always learning something new outside of us, but also learning something new within us. Hence me always saying, let's grow. It's for us to see us through our lenses. And if we can't see us, God always come with some type of funny little saying to be like, look at you. <laughs> so knowing if you got people triggered, it's also learning about how they view things from an emotional place, which is their feelings, or from a logical place, which is a righteous place, okay? And that means you also have to be doing it to easily recognize it in somebody else. You got to recognize it in yourself as well, right? But we already passed that part. I know y'all is because y'all listen to this video. We tapped in. Once you learn how you view things, it's easier to see how other people view things. Hence the saying, get out your feelings. So the three ways that we could tell if they're operating in their feelings or in their righteous place. Number one, they get easily triggered by certain topics. They say they're speaking with passion, but you can feel the anxiety coming from their spirit. It's not from a happy, passionate place. It's from a uh, rageful, anxious place that they just got to get it off their chest, which leads me to number two. They start sentences off with, I just feel like. You got to add that neck roll in it for that little extra sauce, okay? And the third way that we can recognize if we got somebody triggered if they disregard what you tell them and they deflect the conversation back on you, let me say, for example, well, you did this. Well, remember when you did that? Well, remember when how you acted? You ain't perfect. That is deflecting, which most people that get easily triggered do instead of waiting three to five business days to process the information or until they can decipher whether you were trying to hurt them or if you were trying to tell them your honest opinion or fact. But it's okay. You don't have to get easily triggered in the process. You keep doing you. So the best response that you give a person that is easily triggered by you. Dun, 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 dun. Brrr, drum roll, please. No response. Don't even feed into the negativity because that's how they feed off of your energy. That's how they thrive because now they already see you in one light. And when you argue the way that they see you, regardless of what it is, good, bad, or indifferent, it helps to prove them right and you more wrong. Even though their perspective is off balance, they still see you a certain way. Because they are not thinking from a righteous place. They are thinking from an emotional state. Now, I told y'all before, if you got some more, leave it down in the comment section, right? Stay on guard, y'all. Pay attention to how people are easily triggered by you. And don't feed into the negative responses. Distance yourself. Silence is the number one killer. Either way, let's grow.